Africa Roundup, Nigerian fintech gets $360 million, Mint's unicorn, draws Chinese VC. November 2019 could mark when Nigeria, arguably, became Africa's unofficial capital for fintech investment and digital finance startups. The month saw $360 million invested in Nigerian-focused payment ventures. That is equivalent to roughly one-third of all the startup VC raised for the entire continent in 2018, according to Partech stats. A notable trend within the trend is that more than half, or $170 million, of the funding to Nigerian fintech ventures in November came from Chinese investors. This marks a pivot in China's engagement with Africa to tech. We'll get to that. Before the big Chinese-backed rounds, one of Nigeria's earliest fintech companies, Interswitch, confirmed its $1 billion valuation after Visa took a minority stake in the company. Interswitch would not disclose the amount to TechCrunch, but Sky News reporting pegged it at $200 million for 20%. Founded in 2002 by Mitchell Elijb, Interswitch pioneered the infrastructure to digitize Nigeria's then-predominantly paper ledger and cash-based economy. The company now provides much of the tech wiring for Nigeria's online banking system that serves Africa's largest economy and population. Interswitch offers a number of personal and business finance products, including its Verve payment cards and Quicktiller payment app. The financial services firm has expanded its physical presence to Uganda, Gambia and Kenya. The Nigerian company also sells its products in 23 African countries and launched a partnership in August for Verve cardholders to make payments on Discover's global network. Visa and Interswitch touted the equity investment as a strategic collaboration between the two companies, without a lot of detail on what that will mean. One point TechCrunch did lock down as Interswitch's, long-awaited, and imminent IPO. A source close to the matter said the company will list on a major exchange by mid-2020. For the near to medium term, Interswitch could stand as Africa's sole tech unicorn, as e-commerce venture Jumia's volatile share price and declining market cap, since an April IPO, have dropped the company's valuation below $1 billion. Nigeria's Interswitch confirms $1 billion valuation after visa investment. Circling back to China, November was the month that signaled Chinese actors are all in on African tech. In two separate rounds, Chinese investors put $220 million into Opay and Palm Pay, two fledgling startups with plans to scale in Nigeria and the broader continent. Palm Pay, a consumer-oriented payments product, went live last month with a $40 million seed round, one of the largest in Africa in 2019, led by Africa's biggest mobile phone seller, China's Tranchin. The startup was upfront about its ambitions, stating its goals to become Africa's largest financial cervix. For more on this story, visit the news article link.